This is a tutorial of the Auto DSF or DSF Express Lane. Uh, when you log into your list, you can click here in the Auto DSF, and you will see if uh, your program has an Auto DSF uh, preset, which comes from the DSF. For example, this one for first year level, 15 units. This is the academic fees for acad for foreigners. If they have given this to IOLIS and we have encoded it, uh, you can skip uh, queuing for the DSF. So this is how it works. Uh, you just click this and uh, if you're in a hurry, you just click accepted computed unit load. And then it will show you a message whether it succeeded or not. So if you want an explanation, this is like, this means if you have cleared from the my AP life book uh, with your residence uh, configuration if it has been approved the course is here it is important because different courses have different estimates of uh, amount that you need to pay and also different amount of units requires also different amounts of down payment how will you know how, how much is the down payment this is usually recommended here make sure you pay at least uh, this amount not if it says twenty thousand two hundred ninety five, don't pay twenty thousand two hundred ninety five exactly. Maybe pay two hundred ninety six. It has to be at least. At least as is, uh, who are qualified to use DSF Express Lane? The answer is students who have paid not less than the required down payment, not less, as per guidelines in the financial information in AUP website. You can check that. But those are estimates. Take note and the specified auto dsf configuration table which is also comes from the dsf and these are the values for this uh, semester if you are uh, a cafeteria you can also click this one so that uh, your initial cafeteria load will be put automatically so you cannot use this if you have not cleared with the uh, sso or my AP life book uh, residence if you're a foreigner usually you are required to pay 100% before being allowed to enroll also if you're a mas uh, graduate student master and the PhD 100% payment is required upon enrollment for undergraduate it varies from time to time but usually it is 50% uh, required this is the easiest way to go through the, the, the auto DSF. If you do not have that amount, this is DSF means Dean of Student Finance. It's like you are borrowing money from the. Uh, you are using financing for the from the school, and you have to apply for finance. Actually. Uh, not paying full is also like borrowing half money from the school that's why it's called a finance office because they finance half of your tuition temporarily and you have to of course you promise them that you pay if you want a different arrangement uh, we are sorry that uh, you have to contact TSF personally whether through email or through uh, call usually you have to write a promissory note and so on but for everybody else who doesn't have uh, financial uh, difficulties you can just go through here quickly and then when you get how do you know that you're already approved you have here current allowed units remember you don't have to enroll all of these units for example if I accept 77 I don't have to en enroll 77 units this is just for example yeah and I don't have to pay 77 units I only pay for how many classes I uh, enroll into there are two things that auto DSF considers finances and GPA the GPA the table is here according to the manual of academic policies your the amount of units you can take in a regular semester or in an inter semester 
depends on your GPA this is so that you will not be overloaded mentally with your classes okay and aside from that the finances if you have big down payment you are allowed more units so this is the table and half of this if you're a national Filipino national you have to pay half plus if you are in dorm or CAF also half or it depends on the semester the the, I, the policies differ from uh, time to time but generally it is half at least half if you're foreigner or graduate student you have to pay 100% uh, everything so this one is the academic uh, limit and this is the financial limit it takes it considers the lower of this so if you have 23 here and 18 here you will only only 18 will come out of this accept unit load if you have 28 here and here you only have 15 only 15 will be here so you're not you're not going to overload your wallet and you're not going to overload also your brain so that uh, helps manage the uh, pressures academic and financial pressures in uh, your student life so if you already have units you cannot continue to uh, subject offerings and add classes if you haven't done so yet and you can communicate with your department by clicking this to ask them to approve so that is the tutorial for out to the if you need us an uh, password you can just uh, click new student here and then you can try to put your email and ID number and it will send you a link for your new IOLIS password I hope that helps have a nice day